Ron was actually asked about this. This is what he had to say. I do get jealous. I'm not going to lie. I get jealous sometimes when I look over at KD and he's like 16 for 32 and then 14 for 34. Man, first of all, you have to have an unbelievable mindset to get up 30 shots on stats alone. LeBron takes about anything. The same amount of shots as Kimball Walker and fewer shots than Al Jefferson. This is what we're being told. Mm. Stephen A. Smith, do you think that LeBron should shoot more? Of course he should. Uh, the reason I say he should shoot more, and I don't mean it in a negative way because obviously you're playing in a system, you're playing within the flow of the game, you let the game come to you, and why disrupt what Miami is doing when you're winning basketball games? I only say this based on efficiency. LeBron James is shooting 59% from the field and 40% from three-point range. As far as I'm concerned, you're putting up those kind of numbers, that kind of efficiency. Why the hell are you only shooting 16 times a game? You've got guys in this league that are second tier players, secondary players who do not shoot, you know, who do, shoot do actually shoot. Yeah. 16 times a game. Mm -hmm. He's LeBron James. He's 6'8. He's 250. He's the freak of nature. He's the locomotive. He's the unstoppable force. I'm not going to sit there and say that he should be more selfish or anything like that and get away from what works. I'm just I'm just strictly addressing this from a numbers perspective. Because of his efficiency, he should be shooting the ball more. We used to say this about Kevin Durant because he was shooting the ball so efficiently. You're plus 50, he's 51, 52, 53 percent from the field. Why is Russell Westbrook shooting more than you if he's shooting 42 percent from the field? So you look at it from a numbers perspective, think about the efficiency, and you just come to that conclusion. We've learned through the departure of Russell Westbrook that it's not quite that simple, that numbers don't always tell. Sometimes numbers do lie. But in the end, if you're shooting 59% from the field, Eric Spolstra should be finding a way, and I'm sure he will find a way because he's a great coach. He will find a way to make sure that LeBron James starts shooting more than 16 times a game. Okay, my thought, stepping back from this, is that, first of all, before I answer your question, that LeBron is being envious of and jealous of the wrong guy. Mm -hmm. Because over the last two years combined, in Oklahoma City, the other guy's the one taking the most shots, not Kevin Durant. You just said it. Russell Westbrook, over the last two years, has taken a combined 71 more shots than Kevin Durant. It's mind-blowing to me. Again, you express the percentage. But this is something I've talked about often on this show that LeBron did not acknowledge. He pinned it just on Kevin Durant recently because clearly, if you don't have Russell and you're playing Reggie Jackson in his place, well, yeah, Kevin's going to shoot more. Last, last night, what, he took 28 shots at Memphis. They lost in the fourth quarter. I thought he played pretty well in the fourth quarter. Thought he should have taken the last shot. He let Ibaka take a three from the corner. I wish Kevin had taken the last shot. But the point is, what's he supposed to do? He has to take 28 shots because it's Lamb and, and little whoops, uh, Reggie Jackson trying to take up the slot. I think Lamb okay? is going to be good. Okay, he's pretty good, but they're just like babies now, and they're he's going to have to take 34 shots occasionally, which he does. So I don't get what the problem is. And with LeBron taking 16 a game, I love the way that he play. I don't want to see him take more shots. Now, now, for his career, you realize LeBron has six times averaged 20-plus shots a game. Mm -hmm. now, now, those are all in Cleveland. Does yeah. he want to go back to that? I don't think so. I love the efficiency of the Heat right now. And I still think, and I think you think they're the best team, right? Just so I mean, I know they've had some lulls, and they go through the motions some nights because it's just so long and hard to get back to a three-peat potential where you finally get to the postseason. But in this case... Okay, so he shoots at 16 times a game. Dwayne shoots at 15 times. Boss shoots at 11 times. That's the average. That's pretty good. You have four other guys who take at least six shots a game on average. Mm -hmm. I like that because I like all the shooters. Well, I like Beasley and Ray and Chalmers and Norris Cole. I like the flow. I like the mix. I'll bet you right now, if you could put Eric Spolster on a lie detector, he'd say, I don't want LeBron to take more shots. Well, I think he'd say that because they're winning basketball games. But I guess what I'm talking about, and I think what a LeBron was alluding to in terms of being jealous, is the willingness 
to just go to that level where I'm saying I'm willing to put it all on my shoulders. Because again, when you in the past, when you were critical of him, you talked about the absence of a killer instinct per se. Now, you don't have to be Jordan, but at the same no. time, what you do have to do is have that little extra something inside of you that says, y'all move out of the way. I'm going to close this deal. And I think that when he was talking okay. about Kevin Durant. Now you're talking about late but, game. But, but, but what I'm saying is it, it, it's not so much that I'm talking about late game. I'm simply interpreting. And I haven't spoken to LeBron about this, obviously. But I'm saying I'm simply interpreting that what he grabbed from Kevin Durant was that Kevin Durant had a willingness now to really, really take the bull by the horn and say, I'll put it on me.